Christian Truth Meditations, for Peace with God. 1. About Encouragement. God is love, and He always, fully, unconditionally, awesomely, loves, me. I am worth, the life of God's most precious possession, His own Son Jesus, to Him. Jesus said, I call you my friend. Jesus died on a cross, so that I can get close to him now, if I want to. Jesus says to me, this is how much I love you, and want to be with you, forever. I died on a cross, to try to make you, my beloved bride, forever. God loves me so much that he allowed his own son Jesus, to take the punishment for all of my sins for me, on his cross. God's salvation for us, is always a free gift from him to us, by our faith in it, if we want it. God wants to forgive me, for all of my sins, and remember them no more, now. God wants to put my sins away from his eyes, as far as the east is, from the west, today. God wants to cleanse me, of all of my sins, with the precious blood of his son Jesus, today. God sees me, like a spotless bride in his eyes, because of my faith in him, to make me this way. I was evil from Adam. But God makes me good now, with his power to do it. God gives me a new heart, and a new spirit, so that I can be more like he is, as his, born again child. God is here. God controls everything. God is like a perfect father. God can perfectly protect me. God can perfectly provide for me. God can always give me, ten times more than I need, whenever I need it, miraculously. God can miraculously heal me, or raise me from the dead, if he wants to. God is my perfect problem solver, each day. God is perfect, nothing he does is a mistake. Everything which happens on earth, is planned to happen, the way that he wants it to happen, when he wants it to happen, for his glory, and for his children's good. God is in complete control of everything, at all times. We can put our full trust in his good, help for us, in every situation we are in, if we want to. 2. About Emotions if we choose to believe in Satan's lies, then we will experience bad emotions, and bad actions, and if we choose to believe in God's truth, then we will experience good emotions, and good actions. I can feel perfectly safe, trusting in God, to take good care of me, in an evil, and suffering, world, today. I can experience, a perfect peace of mind, choosing to trust in God, to love, and care for me, in an evil and suffering world, today. I am as righteous, as Jesus is, with his free gift, of his own, perfect righteousness, for me, today. God rejoices over me, like a bridegroom rejoices over his bride each day. God fills me, with his fulfilling, spiritual, love, joy, and peace, today. All I need is God to be happy now. In God's presence, is my fullness of joy, forever. Choose to put your mind on good God, in an evil world, to be able to feel good, living in an evil world each day. Our fear, comes from believing in Satan's lies about God, and not choosing to trust in him. 
Our depression comes from trying to find our happiness from some source other than from God, spiritually. Don't care about what other evil people are choosing to do, that is their problem, not yours, that is between them and God, not you and them. God can work out everything that happens to us, out for our good, if we believe that He can. We have to live in an evil and suffering world, since Adam sinned, but God can help us through it, work it out for our good, make us happy in it, and help us to not be bothered by it. If I am getting my happiness from God spiritually, then what is happening in this evil and suffering world today doesn't have to bother my happiness from Him each day. If the Bible tells us to always be joyful with God, then God can help us to always be joyful with Him, if we want Him to. If we choose to believe in God's blessings, we will receive God's blessings for us, and if we choose to doubt in God's blessings, we will miss out on God's blessings for us. 3. About Obedience God has a good will, for me to do, in this evil world, today. God gives me His power, to successfully do, whatever He asks me to do. God's will is for people to choose to love Him, and to love others, with His power to do it. God gives me His love, to love Him, and to love others with, if I want Him to. God wants us to ask Him to give us more faith, in His awesome goodness, and in His awesome power, to love us, and help us, each day. Ask God, to teach you, about how awesome and glorious He is, so that you can worship Him, in a more truthful way. There is no one greater than you Lord. You're the greatest, Lord. I worship you, as the greatest of all, Lord. All of my praise, and all of my glory, go to you, Lord. God wants us to thank, and praise him, for being so good to us, undeserving, sinners, each day. God wants us to thank, and praise him, for all of the awesome, good gifts, that he gives to us, each day. The way to success and happiness, is to choose to believe in God's truth, and obey Him. Seek God, ask Him to tell you what is best to do now, and seek to do, what He is asking you to do, with His power to do it, now. Like Jesus said, without His help, we cannot do anything good, for His kingdom. It is no longer I who live, it is Jesus Christ, who I now allow to live in me, to do his good works at through me, for his kingdom, instead. Jesus can live through my body, to do good things out through it, for my help, and for my blessing. I am not alone, trying to do things, for myself by myself, Jesus is with me helping me to do, what I am unable to do for him. Jesus wants us to love our enemies, and choose to treat them, like we would want to be treated by them. Choose to forgive everyone, like God has forgiven you. Like God has forgiven you, who do not deserve him to forgive you. Jesus wants his church gatherings to be participatory activities, with spiritual gifts, not just spectator activities. Jesus wants us to be doers of his word, with his help to do it, and not just, hearers only of it. God's future plans for me, are to try to save some souls with him, during his, in time, judgment times for his enemies. 
God seeks to bless his friends, and destroy his enemies, at his right time, to do it. God seeks to severely punish his enemies on earth, and in his hell, after they die. 4. About Spiritual Warfare God makes me like a superman, against my enemies, with his son Jesus, king of the universe, living in me. God fights my enemies for me, and he always wins. I have nothing to fear. God and his angel army, are, always here. Greater is God's army with me, than my enemy's army, trying to harm me. Jesus said, I give you, all my authority over your enemies, and nothing shall harm you. Jesus is like my thousand foot bodyguard, who is a million times more powerful than my enemies are, who is always with me, and who never sleeps. God could crush, all of my enemies under his feet, any time, if he wants to. God created this world with a word, and all he has to do is speak, and all my enemies disappear. Like God was with Moses, at the Red Sea, so is he with me, now. Jesus can talk to my enemies through me, if I want him to. Unless we seek Jesus to deliver us from the demons, we stay captive to their slavery over us. Jesus said, Whatever you ask, the Father, in my name, I will do it for you, so that your joy may be full. 5. About Eternal Life God has a perfect world for me to live in, after I die, in his heaven forever. I won't die, till Jesus wants me to die, and he can help me through my death. Martyrdom, can get greatly rewarded, in heaven. Going to God's heaven after I die, will be like marrying, the king of the universe, Jesus, and living with him, in his paradise, forever.